15th August 2014, the ramparts of Red Fort, New Delhi. From this historic setting, Prime Minister Narendra Modi made a historic announcement, a financial inclusion initiative of grand proportions. Prime Minister's Jan Dhan Yojana to bring banking, insurance and pension services to every nook and corner of India. The financial inclusion objectives are clear. 1. Universal access to banking services. 2. Open a bank account for all households. 3. Enable people to access credit. And 4. Extend financial infrastructure to insurance and pension. A program of this magnitude made possible by harnessing the power of technology. The first technology enabler, eKYC. If a person has Aadhaar, it is as simple as ABC. Walk into the bank, give the Aadhaar number and provide the biometrics. The fingerprint is the KYC. Aadhaar number and fingerprints are verified with UID database. No further verification is needed. Next comes Aadhaar seating. If one has a bank account and Aadhaar number, one can simply connect the two. Aadhaar seating means direct benefits transfer of government subsidies and payments like Narega into the beneficiary's bank accounts. An exciting innovation is the instantaneous issue of pin-enabled debit card. These desktop printers come with magnetic stripe encoders and EMV compliant smart card couplers. Cards can be personalized in 30 seconds at the branch itself. The card issued is Rupee, developed by the National Payments Corporation. India is only the fourth country in the world that has its own card payments system backbone after the United States, Japan and China. Kisan Credit Cards, a system developed for farmers for purchase of agricultural goods. Rupee Kisan Cards are now ATM and POS enabled, taking technology right to the villages. There are 1,75,000 ATMs and nearly 1 million point-of-sale terminals in the country. Running on the national financial switch, NFS, a high-technology platform, connecting them all. India is awash with mobile phones. What an opportunity to connect the mobile device to the nation's banking system. Doing precisely this will be the USSD platform of the National Payments Corporation. A single number, star 99 hash, will enable the ordinary GSM phone to connect to customer's bank account, verifying bank balance, bill payments, and money transfers can happen all through the mobile handset. Harnessing these technologies is the micro ATM, operated through Bank Mitra's and self-help groups making possible cash withdrawal, cash deposit and money transfer services at the customer's doorstep in far-flung corners. Truly a revolution in banking. Another leap forward is the mobile wallet. Instant transfer of cash from one bank account to another. Payment of bills. Use at merchant points all enabled by the mobile phone. The customer merely has to get an M-PIN, a unique number from the bank to get started. Taking real-time banking services to a whole new level in rural areas. A cloud-based solution for 343 cooperative banks has been created to get them on board with core banking solutions. Technology enables faster spread of insurance as well. Now, pre-purchase documentation for insurance can be completed online. Once completed, the insurance policies can be printed and delivered 
at the common service centers. Financial inclusion is not merely a statement of intent. It is well on its way to becoming a reality. The nation's banking, insurance and pension sector is geared to make this happen. Prime Minister's Jan Thanh Yojana